All right, so there is the career of the band, and here are two of the men who are a part of it joining us. Bruce Dickinson, nice Hello. to see you. How are you, sir? Uh, Gary Garth, nice to see you. How are you doing? Welcome. This is your new record. Uh, I believe so. It is, guilty, yeah. guilty, yeah, as charged. guilty as charged. Yes. Matter of life and death. I, I heard a rumor, and just it, in terms of making a record, especially these days, it's so prefab and it's so heavily produced. And I, I, is it true that most of this was off the floor, or a lot of this was just you guys playing your instruments live and recording it? We, we've actually done that for the last uh, two or three albums, um, but we've been getting better at it. You know, um, so yeah, the, the whole concept of recording with a band now is that we go in and we record the whole thing live, all in a circle facing each other, little separate booths so that all the sound doesn't bleed from one instrument to the other. Um, and we all have little mini mixing de desks which we can put our own individual headphone mix in. Yeah, but they never work. No, they never work. Do. Oh, mine do. Mine's <laughs> terrible. Yeah. I've got the good one. The, the singer gets yeah, the good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's three but guitars. They don't need This is what leads <clears throat> through the wall. <laughs> but but it, it, um, it, it works great, you know, because all you have to do is play. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that's a tall order because you know even some of the best bands in the world don't do it that way. Yeah, but I think the thing what you've got to remember is that, that we do dub on afterwards any solos or whatever else you want to do, but the, the immediacy of us playing together is captured. And if you, a, a really good producer ca can capture what you do as a band, then, then you know that's to me that's what it's about. It's not about produ a producer coming in and producing a sound that can be laid on to be. You know, the Iron Maiden sound. There isn't, the Iron Maiden sound comes from the six of us playing together. The, the good thing is, is that there's not very many of me on this record. You know, most of the time it's just one single voice with a bit of echo on it or something. Uh, the good thing about that is when people hear it live, they go, wow, it sounds almost better than the record. <laughs> <laughs> because you're doing it reverse. You're trying to capture the live thing for the record, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, but isn't that Absolutely. what it should be about? That's what music should be about. And it's become about something different now. It's become about manipulating the sounds. Yeah. And, and that's why when you go to see a lot of bands, they don't sound like the record. Nico said that this record, uh, it was weird for him because you guys didn't have many major battles on this one. And that was relatively new. He's uh, like, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Nico we, we... never had any major battles. Oh, there's like always... Steve always <laughs> fought, I thought. Oh, well, not, not always, but there's always, there's always some, some bizarre timing issue. Um, about about things about you know he, you're, you're speeding up no I'm not you're slowing down you know so and, and it's always very silly we will walk out we'll walk out the room and come back six hours yeah. later Have you know, tea. And, and then they're, 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 they're in the corner crying and cuddling you know by that <laughs> point you know so we're like okay it's over guys you know let them have the moment yeah but we yeah, but it was a really really um, happy album um, to make and uh, we were I mean, I was actually I was really surprised at how it how it all seamlessly dropped into place. Mm -hmm. um, I, we didn't know we were going to write, you know, one of the best albums of our career. Yeah, you wake up in the morning and you open the Billboard charts, and you're the number one indie band with this record. It's number one on the Billboard indie charts, and I thought you might get a good chuckle out of that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't know <coughs> Billboard ever. Yeah, so. number <laughs> indie, but indie. This is Iron Maiden, that, right. you know, which which sort of says something. Oh, I, I suppose so. Yeah, um, uh, that's obviously a misprint. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the, the, the state of music today? When you've been around after 10 years, people get to ask you that question. The value of music, the physical value of it, has become devalued. So whilst music is probably more popular now mm -hmm. than at any time in human history. It's this thing here that doesn't matter as much, right? Yeah. So, so, so you, get, you get bombarded with music wherever you go. You know, you have no choice. You know, I, I try to find places that actually don't have music now where I can I just sit in peace and quiet and silence because mm -hmm. I don't want 24-7 music. But you get it. You get, you get some coffee bar. You go everywhere. It's, on, it's a precursor to every kind of extreme sports, normal sports. Everything's bombarded with music. And yet, um, if it's so popular, um, musicians aren't able to make a living out of it. I mean, we're lucky. Uh, the b established bands, I think, are increasingly lucky. But the kids coming forward and everything else, they're having to give away everything for nothing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, a lot of kids at your shows these days, that that surprise you? Uh, oh, well, I mean, it's been something that has been going on in, in Europe now for two or three years. I mean, we are uh, enjoying not, not, not actually um, a renaissance, because that implies a return to something right. where we were before. We're actually bigger now than at any stage in our careers ever um, in Europe. Uh, 
and uh, well, probably actually getting that way in Canada. Um, so so it, it's extraordinary what's going on. I think on. that's really healthy, having kids at the show. I, that, to me, that's, I want to play to young people. I want to play to people. I think this music's vital and it's vibrant and it's, it's organic, it's growing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not an 80s throwback. It's not something, you don't come to a maiden concert to relive your past youth. It's deeper than that. There's well, more to it. Because you tour without putting out a record for 20 more years. I think. Uh, yes, we could, yeah. but not with me. Because I'd, I'd, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'd, be going, I'd, be, I'd be going, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, Vegas, here we come. Dang, you know, well, that would be you know, oh, sequins, yeah, tassels. So don't do that. No, no, don't, don't, don't do sequins. Don't do we're, we're about to wrap up here, but I want to ask you one question. The, the, the story about you flying the plane, uh, Cyprus, to, to rescue the, some of the Brits? Oh, yeah, now, the, the, now this is, this is I, I have a day job um, outside of, of Maiden, so when I'm not doing Maiden. Did you Maiden, invest poorly? Do you need this day job? Is that uh, no, like it's just, I ended up I ended up getting a job as a First officer, I fly 757 for a, a charter airline out of mm -hmm. Gatwick. Uh, in fact, we fly to Deer Lake, amongst other places. Why would you go to Deer Lake? Because well, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. That's why we go there. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, as part of the day job, I just got called in to go and do this uh, flight, um, which, you know, happened to have uh, you know Cyprus on the flight plan, and that was it. You know, you so. weren't aware of the, were you aware of the politics that was going on at the time? And all oh that? Yeah, yeah, but but I mean the the uh, it got it got blown actually got blown out of all proportion. I mean I'm I'm the last one to stop anybody blowing my own trumpet, but on this occasion <laughs> I'd like to say, hey guys, I was not I was not doing anything here. So I had visions yeah. of you going in as Rambo with a headband. No, 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 I have I have a broad yellow stripe about that wide down my back every time. I fly an airliner. There you go. The guys in Iron Man.